I bought that one, it was one option, for $1,070.66. Well, they actually had an earnings report that dropped, which did quite well. So I sold them 12 days later, and that was for $2,064.32. That was a $993.66 gain, or a 92.80% gain in 12 days. Hey guys, this is June's monthly option picks. It actually should be June's monthly option pick, but it's going to be option picks because I actually didn't give you an option pick for May. So I'm going to give you two option picks. And these are two options that I actually bought myself today. But before we jump into those, let's look at what happened most recently in option picks and monthly op in weekly option picks which is inside of um, Patreon as well as the monthly option pick which is in the YouTube channel. So, on April 23rd, I bought a J&J call, Johnson & Johnson, and it had a September 20 expiration and it was a $150 strike price. I bought two of them. Bought them for $1,287.32. But they weren't moving as expected. So, two days later, I sold it for $1,048.66. Now, the next I bought was Zoetis. They deal with animal care. I bought them on April 24th. That was a uh, August 16th expiration with a $150 strike price. I bought those, I bought that one, it was one option, for $1,070.66. Well, they actually had an earnings report that dropped, which did quite well. So I sold them 12 days later. And that was for $2,064.32. That was a $993.66 gain, or a 92.80% gain in 12 days. Lastly, we had Biogen. I bought a Biogen call on April 29th. That was with a um, July 19th expiration and a $220 strike price. I bought it for $1,170.66. I didn't like the way it was moving, so I sold it eight days later for $1,259.33. That was an $88.67 gain, or a 7.57% gain. So, and that was in May, that was the last options that I dealt with, but there was a reason for that. So, 
We didn't do anything further in May. But now, for this month, we have two options. And those two options are a lot cheaper. They're DLO, which is a stock which is at $8.35 a share, and VREX, which is a stock which is at $15.75 a share. And I'm going to show you why right now. So I had to dip into my account, guys. And the reason I had to dip into my account was to get something made, which was this app. There's two keys to being profitable in options. Well, at least when you're buying colds. And one key is to picking fundamentally sound stocks which are moving up. You want to pick fundamentally sound stocks that are moving up. And then once you've made your gains, you want to get out of it. Well, I have now designed an app that's available to you guys that helps you to pick fundamentally sound stocks that are moving up. That app is Stock Sage and the website is StockSageSoftware.com and I'm going to Go to the pricing menu so you can see the price. It's just $129 a year for you to be able to pick sound stocks. So now let's take a look and see how it works. I've done a video on my YouTube channel to explain one thing. And that thing is one of the first things you want to check to see when you're buying a stock is, is that stock making money every year or are they losing money? Well, this app shows you that right off. As soon as you go into Stock Sage, the first thing it does is it pulls up all the stocks that are at their annual low price. They're already at their annual low price and they have three or more years of positive earnings. So here we see a bunch of stocks with all positive earnings for the last five years. But I want to get more specific. I don't just want stocks that are that have positive earnings for the last five years. I want stocks whose earnings are increasing for the last five years. I want the superstars. So I can go to stock buybacks. We love when a company buys back shares of their own stock. So I can Go to stock buybacks and change it from filter off to all five years. That means they bought back shares of their own stock for all five years. I can go to current assets are greater than current liabilities. That's our balance sheet. And we, we always want total assets greater than total liabilities. That's built into the app. But we can also choose to have current assets greater than current liabilities. And notice now the list is getting a lot smaller. Then we can say greater than 10%. And that's for the income statement. Now notice it's only down to four companies. We can even change it to profit margin is greater than 20%. And notice now it's only down to 
one company. Well, this app is what I've used to be able to find low-cost stocks which are fundamentally sound. And once we've narrowed down what we want to look further at, we can just click on the ticker symbol and everything is right there. What the company does, their earnings per share for the last five years. We can even look at what their current earnings per share is for this year their current 52 week low and this is market access MKTX I can come here to Yahoo Finance put in market access MKTX and they actually give me a one year target estimate how high they think this stock is going to go. Now, I'm going to put a tutorial up on the site probably by this weekend or next weekend at the latest, which will show you another way that you can get a target estimate. But for now, we'll use Yahoo's, which is probably a conservative estimate. They say this stock can go as high as $235.67. I can just type that in right here for 52 week high. Hit enter. And it will actually show me what percentage increase that is. 14.42% that's not high enough for me but it will show me and what the PE ratios will work out to be I can get the statistics for this stock current price current earnings per share current PE dividend yield earnings date book value shares outstanding float market capitalization free cash flow yields then come down to the income statement profit margin 2019 40.07 percent 2020 43.44 percent 2021 36.9 percent 2022 34.84 percent 2023 34.37% I can go down to the balance sheet look at the return on equity for these years 26.67 31 23.15 19.96 and the debt to equity which is we know we like it under 200 percent every year here is actually under a hundred percent and then I can see that the current assets are well below the current liabilities and the total assets are I should say are way up, well above the total the current assets are well above the current liabilities total assets are well above the total liabilities could see if the company paid out dividends stocks issued and repurchased and lastly the free cash flow and not just the free cash flow actually these companies pay their dividends from their free cash flow and some of these companies are paying a dividend that they can't even afford to pay but they're paying that dividend to attract stock buyers you can even see if they can afford to pay their dividends free cash flow after dividends they still have money it's not a negative number so that's good then here at the bottom we have a 
few things that we can fill in. Um, we couldn't pull it into the app, but there's text boxes there so you can fill it in yourself. The percentage of insider investors, the percentage of institutional investors, which both of them you can get from Yahoo Finance under statistics, the dividend date, and the ex-dividend date, which you can also get from Yahoo Finance under statistics, and management and competition. Management information you can get from Yahoo Finance under profile, and competition, you may have to Google that, but you can find out what industry and sector this company is in and put it there and then use Yahoo to get the other information. So this is the Stock Sage app, guys. You want to make sure to subscribe to it. It's just $129, and it puts you well ahead of the game in terms of buying your options. Why? Because the key to buying options is that you understand stocks. When you're buying an option, you're only buying a promise on a stock, a promise that you can buy so many shares, which is 100 shares, at a specific price on or before a specific date. And in order to be able to do that, you need to know that that stock is going to move up. So if you give the stock enough time to move up, you want to look at your candlestick chart and make sure that the stock is starting to move up. And you can use Yahoo to estimate how high they feel it's going to move to in the next 12 months. On top of that, if you look at my tutorial that I'm going to drop, it will show you how you can use the P.E. ratios to determine how high it's going to move in the next 12 months. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try that right now. I'm going to go to a calculator. And notice from high PE to low PE, this is about 33. 40, that's more than 33, this is around 29, so I'm going to use 29, 29 is the lowest of them, so what's the current PE? The current PE is 29. I'm sorry, the current PE is 30.2. So I'm going to say 30.2 plus 29 equals 59.2. I'm going to multiply that by the current earnings per share, which is 6.82 equals 403.74. So if I do it by P.E. ratio, the P.E. ratios of the last five years, and I work out the smallest one, that will be 403.74. If I hit enter, 
What is that? That's an increase of 96.02, which seems more in line with the previous years. 98.86, So I'm not saying that's correct in terms of what it's going to move up to. But if I just base it on PE, that's what it is. I'm not sure why Yahoo got where Yahoo got their estimate from. Maybe they factor in other things. Maybe they're being conservative. But in any event, this app will help you guys dramatically in being able to pick your um in being able to pick your options. And having said that, let's look what Yahoo Finance gives for DLO. For DLO, they say in the next 12 months it can move up to 15.50. That is a 86.07% increase. And for VREX, Yahoo says they can move up to 2325 That is a 47.62% increase, and that's just on the stock. That's not even on the option. We know options grow a lot more. So our monthly option picks for June is going to cover, we missed May, so we're giving you two. That's for June and for May. And those are DLO and Varex Imaging. Now, DLO actually cost me $160.66 for an option that's expiring on November 15th with an $8 strike price. Now, that is, we're in June now, so that's five months away. And the same thing with Varex Imaging, a July 15th strike price or July 15th expiration with a $15 strike price. I'm sorry, did I say... I'm sorry, DLO has an $8 strike price, and Varex Imaging has a $15 strike price. It's a five month expiration, and it costs me $200.66. Now, with these options, guys, the bid price and the ask price were pretty far apart. My suggestion to you would be to do them as limit orders as close to the bid price as possible. What does that mean? Let's say you just make them as close to the bid price as possible. So, if the bid price is a dollar eighty, you may want to try it at a dollar eighty, and if that doesn't work, go up to a dollar ninety. 
wait a little while. If that doesn't work, go up to maybe two dollars, you know, which would be two hundred because it's always four hundred shares. But in any event, that are my those are my two option picks for the month of June. D Lo and V Rex. Two very cheap options. In any event, guys, have a great night. And I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.